Hello guys, um, my name is Charlie's Angels. If you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm going to read a little bit um, out the Bible also because how many of us know that if it wasn't for God, you know, it wouldn't even be a spiritual journey or union or twin flames. Um, you know, a lot of people like to override, you know, what is really supposed to be recognized um, throughout this journey. And that is, you know, like I say, or whatever, you know, spirits and energies or whatever, you can have good or bad. You can have good energies, you can have bad energies, you can um, multiply more energies, and those bad energies most likely are demons. And, you know, good energies that come from a pure, righteous heart most likely are energies of light and you know so many people on this journey we're all looking for love when the real true love it comes from uh our father in heaven he's the one that inserted the spirits inside of us he's the one that came up with this whole world the universe science all of this you know he created it all and i'm not going to stress that enough but you know, God, I would, uh, if I could have you to come in, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus and the your Son and the Holy Spirit and cleanse this energy in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse this energy in a mighty way. And any entities or any demonic forces that would come in and try to sabotage this reading. Guys, um, you know... If you go and look at some of my other videos, um, again, I'm not going to stress that enough. If you guys, I love you guys all. I know a lot about this twin flame uh, journey thing here. And if you guys would like and subscribe to my ch channel, I will be speaking more. But if you would go and look at other videos and find the video where I stated that... Um, Reading cards can pull uh, demonic energies into your space. And demonic spirits and energies and so forth, they jump off. Just like if you're around a person, a bad person that does nothing but negative all the time, those spirits jump off of that person and onto you. And um, it's about energies. Our energies are spirits. And they could be of darkness and of light. Okay, you're going to either... You're either going to serve the devil or you're going to serve God. I don't know who and most certainly... Uh, I want to bring this up also. Um, yes, the twin flame journey, the spiritual twin souls and all of that and so forth. It is true. It's real. God created it. It's spiritual. He gives us our spiritual partners. And he do have that one true love that, you know, the devil is going to try to fight to keep you guys from being apart because he know that you got a so-called purpose here on earth that God wants you to fulfill for for uh, God's will and for the purpose for your life, you know, for our lives in God's will. And it's here on earth. And if you and your twin partner come together, you and your divine masculine, then the the enemy knows that's double trouble. So he'll try to do anything to keep y'all from getting together. And so this journey, is, people think that it's about connecting with a partner and about a, a twin flame, a, a divine femme and a divine masculine. And us coming together, no, this journey is way deeper. It goes further than that. It's nothing, you know, you have to be in God. You have to uh, love God first so that he could show you how to love yourself and become whole. And then you'll, you know, that's when your heart is, you know, strong enough to love the person that God have for you. Where, you know, if you come against any 
obstacles or whatever with this partner, God knows that you guys will be able to overcome them. So he wants both both of us healed, the divine masculine and the femme or whatever. So it'll be a stronger uh, uh, bun, a stronger bun so that the, the foundation that God built will be stronger and just can't know anyone come and tear it down. Okay, so guys, you know, um, I'm going to read some more and then I'll probably, I'm going to do a second video for the reading. And as I say, you know, I'm not going to focus too much on just constantly trying to read cards all the time. Uh, it's a lot of help that I can give people on the twin flame journey or whatever that, you know, where I don't have to be pulling energies. I could just channel and I could tell you guys a lot of information on what I've been through or whatever so that you guys will know what to expect from this journey and what God is asking of you know asking of us and so okay Lord I pray you would help me set my life in order in right order I want to always put you first above all else in my life Teach me how to love you with all my heart, mind, and soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Guys, if we could get to that place, then God is going to bring your union together. But you have to love God first because he created us. He's the one that inserted the spirits inside of us. He is the one that made the universe. He's the one that created us or whatever. He inserted the spirits. He, you know... And the spirits took form and manifested in God's, you know, the anointing of the Holy Ghost and the birth of God creation. And that's what this is from. And so I also was turning in my Bible, guys, and this is what this is how God does things for me and show me things, you know. And so it says about offered to idols. And this is 1 Corinthians 8. Um, and it says, now I will write about meat. I will write about meat. This, our Bible is meat and it feeds us. So when you go and give a person a word from the Bible, you're feeding them their spirit man. And that's what a lot of people need. Their spirit to be filled up because the flesh make you very weak and it makes the enemy and the dark entities overtake you. But when you're full of the word and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the spirit, a righteous spirit, it will make you, you will overcome anything that comes against you that's coming from darkness. And, you know, God, you'll have the strength to fight with this right here. People don't understand their talking about love and trying to put these unions together and giving these love readings and all of that. And I'm for, you know, love and all of that because I have other scriptures also. Love will go on forever. Unknown languages will pass away, will fall away and won't even be used. But love will conquer all. Love will keep multiplying. Love will keep flourishing. Love will keep growing. For the end of time. Okay. And so this is what it says guys. It says about food offered to idols. Now I will write about meat. That is sacrificed to idols. We know that we all have knowledge. As you say. But this knowledge. Puff, puffs a person up with pride. While love helps the church grow stronger. Whoever think they know something does not yet know anything as they should. But whoever loves God is known by God. So this is what I say about eating meat. We know that an idol is really nothing in the world. And we know that there is only one God. It's really not important if there are things called gods in heaven. Or on earth. And there are many of these gods. And lords out here. Out there. 
For us, there is only one God, and he is our Father. All things came from him, and, and we live for him. And there is only one Lord, Jesus Christ. All things were made through him, and we also have life through him. But not all people know this. Some have had the habit, the habit of worshiping idols. So now when they eat meat, they still feel as if it belongs to an idol. They are not sure that it is right to eat this meat. So when they eat it, they feel guilty. But food will not bring us closer to God. Refusing to eat does not make us less pleasing to God. And eating does not either. Does not make us closer to him. But be careful with your freedom. Your freedom to eat anything may make those who have doubts about what they can eat fall into sin. Okay? 